The Chinese have announced that they're going to go to the moon. In fact, they will probably beat the United States. Prepare for an enlightening journey with renowned physicist Dr. Michio Kaku as we challenge conventional wisdom about the moon, its origins, and its true purpose. Join us in uncovering remarkable lunar discoveries that defy expectations and revolutionize our understanding of our celestial neighbor. It's astonishing to ponder why humanity hasn't returned to the moon since the historic Apollo 11 mission in 1969. The years have seen incredible technological advancements, making a return trip more feasible than ever. Recently, Dr. Michio Kaku shared his insights on lunar exploration, commending China for sending a robotic spacecraft to collect lunar samples, a feat previously achieved by only the United States and the Soviet Union. China's progress is particularly intriguing as they emulate the U.S. approach while finding shortcuts. Dr. Kaku also brings attention to the military implications of space exploration. With the moon becoming a more frequented destination, he highlights concerns about potential sinister motives. Major powers like Russia and China are actively developing hypersonic drones, which are becoming preferred military tools. Dr. Kaku emphasizes that the moon itself lacks significant military value, given its proximity to Earth, revealing the deeper strategic dimensions of space exploration and its potential military implications. As we navigate the evolving landscape of space exploration, the establishment of the United States Space Force becomes pivotal. Initially met with skepticism, its role in safeguarding over half of Earth's satellites under U.S. control is essential for protecting our economy and communication systems. However, it's crucial to avoid an uncontrolled arms race in space. Dr. Kaku also sheds light on covered U.S. moon exploration efforts, transitioning to the role of visionary entrepreneurs like Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos in space exploration. Musk aims to establish a multi-planet society, while Bezos envisions moving heavy industries to space to preserve Earth as a pristine park. Their involvement in the private sector opens up new possibilities, with Musk even offering lunar tourism tickets, making a moon honeymoon a conceivable adventure. The future of space exploration, driven by both government initiatives and private endeavors, holds immense promise. China's lunar missions, the military dimensions of space exploration, the U.S. Space Force, and private sector aspirations are shaping the future of space exploration. While the moon's military value is limited compared to terrestrial conflicts, concerns arise with the development of hypersonic drones, where Russia claims superiority and China actively pursues the technology. A recent captivating discovery has garnered global attention, the confirmation of water in tiny glass beads scattered across the moon's surface. This groundbreaking revelation was made by China's Cheng'e 5 lander during its mission, sparking excitement and anticipation about the implications for future space exploration. A team of dedicated researchers meticulously examined these glass beads, unveiling the presence of water concealed within them. These findings significantly contribute to our knowledge of lunar water and its importance for future lunar exploration. The Chang'e 5 mission, launched by China in December 2020, aimed to retrieve lunar samples and did so successfully, securing invaluable specimens and glass beds containing water. Dr. Kaku believes that despite the time gap between lunar surface missions, future lunar exploration holds great promise, with initiatives like NASA's Commercial Lunar Payload Services program planning upcoming missions. The Volatiles investigating Polar Exploration Rover, set to search for ice near the Moon's South Pole in late 2023, offers the potential to further uncover the presence of water. In a stunning twist, our previous assumptions about lunar water have been shattered by NASA's Stratospheric Observatory for Infrared Astronomy. This discovery revealed water in sunlit regions of the Moon, challenging our previous beliefs. This revelation implies that water might be present across the entire lunar surface, opening up new possibilities for sustainable lunar missions, resource utilization, and potential human settlements. Turning to NASA's Airborne Observatory SOFOIA, equipped with a powerful infrared telescope, researchers explored the Clavius Crater on the Moon's visible side. 
This crater, with its grandeur and well-preserved features, offered a surprising discovery, the presence of water molecules. This finding enhances our knowledge of the moon and its potential for future exploration. Recalling the Apollo missions, which first hinted at the existence of lunar water, we now realize that our previous assumptions about the moon being a barren wasteland were incorrect. Water does indeed exist on our celestial neighbor, reshaping our understanding of its composition and exciting possibilities for future exploration. The Chun-A-5 mission also unveiled a new lunar mineral named Changesite Y, which contains helium-3, a rare element with the potential to revolutionize our energy needs through advanced nuclear fusion. This discovery has ignited discussions about the race to harness the moon's resources, emphasizing the importance of continued lunar exploration. The potential of helium-3 is staggering, with just 25 tons capable of powering the entire United States for a year. Its estimated economic value of around $3 billion per ton has sparked a global race among nations and organizations. The pursuit of helium-3 from the moon opens up new avenues for exploration, resource exploitation, and space mining in the quest for clean and sustainable energy solutions. This race to harness the moon's resources has ignited a thrilling competition among nations and organizations, driven by the immense value of helium-3. China's achievements place them among the select nations that have discovered lunar minerals, highlighting the significance and potential of continued lunar exploration. As we look ahead, the focus shifts to the captivating South Pole Aiken Basin, a region on the moon's far side that holds tantalizing secrets about lunar history and our solar system. China's Chang'e 6 mission is gearing up for an expedition to this unexplored territory, equipped with an orbiter lunar ascent vehicle, lander, and re-entry capsule. Venturing to the moon's far side presents formidable challenges, including the absence of direct spacecraft communication. However, recent discoveries from the United States have bolstered our determination to explore and expand our understanding of the moon. The South Pole Aiken Basin, with its well-preserved craters, promises to reveal geological wonders and unlock significant information about the moon's past and celestial body formation. Recent discoveries within this region, such as the finding of an enormous structure weighing over 2.18 billion kilograms, further illuminate the moon's composition and history. Moreover, NASA's GRL mission, which measured the moon's gravitational field with precision, has provided insights into its formation and geological history. Laser experiments and distance measurements have enhanced our understanding of the Moon's composition, magnetic field evolution, and global mantle overturns. These findings redefine our comprehension of the Moon's structure and formation, propelling us deeper into the realm of lunar exploration. Our journey with Dr. Michio Kaku has taken us through a series of astonishing lunar discoveries, challenging our preconceptions and expanding our understanding of the Moon. From the presence of water in glass beds to the revelation of helium-3 and the exploration of the South Pole Aiken Basin, we stand on the cusp of a new era of lunar exploration. With each discovery, we unravel the mysteries of our celestial neighbor and pave the way for a future where the Moon's resources may play a pivotal role in powering our world and advancing space exploration. What are your thoughts on the potential of helium-3 as a clean and sustainable energy source from the Moon? Is the race to harness lunar resources for our energy needs a promising avenue for the future of space exploration and Earth's energy demands? Share your insights and opinions. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our exciting updates about lunar discoveries and the future of space exploration. Remember, as we venture into the universe, the sky is not the limit. It's just the beginning. Keep looking up.